Don't even try to come at me in the comment section. If you want to see how I go about unboxing my new arrivals for my online boutique, then you can. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'll be showing you how I go about unboxing my new arrivals for my online boutique. I literally just got up and I started packing inventories. So there was no makeup, there was no razzle dazzle. It was just me being me. So don't even try to come at me in the comment section. So these are my branding supplies. I have my thank you card, my stickers my hand tags and also my branded business name i have a few stuff to package and i'm going to show you guys how i go about packaging my items as well as the branding aspect of it so it's not much and as you can see i don't have much space to like pack my stuff so i'm just doing it here for now this is one of my packaging So I made an error when I was purchasing because when I just started I think I purchased this small bag because I wasn't sure which size would work and then I diverted into getting a bigger size and that size was at, I think it was a 10 times 14 or 11 times 14 it was big enough to hold my maxi dresses and like bigger stuff but this can actually work this is a set that is inside and this is a size 9 times 12 so I'm going to be leaving the link to the stuff that I purchased for my business in below this is also another set and it fits perfectly in the bag the thing is I feel like I like a bigger feel like the customer actually getting the package it doesn't look small and too tucked so I use my business logo worded along with a hand tag that is behind this and also the thank you card along with a discount code this was before i invented the website because i wasn't using a website to begin with no the thank you cards and the hang tags were purchased through vista print i think it cost me less than less than twenty dollars and i think i did 400 hang tags and it's two i didn't do them two-sided along with the this sorry along with the business logo and the thank you card that was my startup to begin with and i also got these as well this is the hang tags strings so this was also from amazon and as i've stated before i'm going to leave the links below to my amazon storefront where you guys can shop so this is a total of a thousand and I still have it since 2020 also got the stickers as well the stickers I think each is a thousand per roll and it ranges from extra small to double XL for the pants I didn't put a hang tag on it but I'll be doing so for the top since more than likely the customer will be looking at the top before the bottom and I want everything to stand out in terms of branding on the top so i'm gonna just try to find a tag this is a tag from the manufacturer and this can be cut up by the customer as well so i'm gonna be using this along with the business card and i keep saying business card the business logo and the hang tag so I'm going to be using both and this is a size small so I have to manually mark them it's going to take a lot of time um, I don't really have all the resources like all those international boutique owners but this is what works for me for now if you have any suggestions you can leave it in the comment section so depending on the size Okay, so depending on the size, I just select it and mark it with the Sharpie. have a puncher as well. I think I got this downtown. I don't remember how much I paid for it because it's been a while. So it was, I don't think this past $500. And you know, Jamaicans can be a little pricey with certain things. 
but when I just put it on the tag just like that it's on I shouldn't tag I want it to be on the front like so so when I put it in the bag it actually shows my business plan. as I've stated this is a 9 times 12 when I just started I didn't have any idea of which size bags to choose from and I remember I had to go through so many videos and search on Google to see what size would best fit my clothing line. And it was pretty hard to find. If you have been following my business page for a while, you would notice that most of the stuff that I sell would be dresses. So we're trying to divert into getting a diversification of different outfits, but like kind of cheek and classy. So this is one of them. I'm gonna just link a photo right here. These are mini sets. These are some of our new arrivals as well. So I'm gonna just repeat the same process over and over and over and over until I'm done. And this part takes the most time. Show you how I store my stuff. So the moment I get an order, I just quickly grab and go. So, so this is the business bag. It has the business website, TikTok. You can drop a few comments down below and let me know why you haven't started your business as yet, what challenges you're currently having, and why you're still in doubt. You're only in doubt because you want the best for yourself and for your brand, and that is pretty normal. This is everything. These are all packaged. So I basically just need to add. This is my online so when I say I'm online based, this is the online based as I have 12 compartments here and this can hold at least and I would estimate it about 20. Currently this is 16. So this is from small, medium, large, extra large, excel. And then at the bottom what I have would be the sale items. So like stuff that is not selling or going so fast. This is Keisha. A lot of you guys have already met her and this is one of her new arrivals as well. This is a romper. So yes, Keisha wears sizes extra small and small. When you see me posting stuff on this mannequin, it's always an extra small or small. I have a little sign here. I got this designed. I don't remember the business name, but while I'm editing this video, I'll be adding her link to her Instagram page down below as well as here. Just gives me a little feel. I won't always have an online business, but for now, this is my actual story. It's the vision that matters. All right, items, I just took them out, being that I'm trying to organize them based on sizes. So the sale items, everything is in one. So the sizes doesn't matter. So I have a few of those. These were packaged for a while. So it doesn't look that cute. I'm going to just show you how I go about organizing everything here. These are already small. And these are all small. They're also small. I feel like I want to do small, medium, large. This is one of my absolute favorite dress. We have two small. Somebody needs to come and get them.
packaged or rebranded as yet but this is basically how I go about packaging my items for my online store so along with your thank you cards business cards and hand tags if your business is product based uh, I definitely recommend for you to have these essentials along with that I totally forgot who are product based and you're hoping to start an online business for me specifically I do not have a lot of space and the closet that I was showing I forgot to mention that was purchased on Amazon as well so I will be leaving the link down below so if you are interested you can also order from my storefront it's pretty reasonable I think I paid less than a hundred US dollars and as you can see it can hold around 500 items total depending on the size so this is the end of my video i really hope you guys had enjoyed watching you can let me know in the comment section if you like my video and if you'd like to learn anything in addition to organizing and inventories uh, don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my video please please remember as well to turn on your post notifications so you can be notified every time i upload a video